Hi, I'm Leah. I'm a PhD student at UCL, and I use lasers to cool things down until they're quantum. So the, the theory for quantum kind of like physics is very well established, but for very, very small things, for single atoms, electrons, you know, a few molecules have managed to be cooled down until they show quantum properties. But when we're talking about these really large objects, these spheres, for example, about the width of your hair, these are big for us, these are ginormous, and um, what we're trying to do is, is say, well, why isn't things around us quantum? Why don't tables suddenly appear in two places at once? Um, and we have to start off by slowly scaling up in size. Um, the main challenge of what I do in my field is that we're not sure there's applications at all. You know, quantum things are weird and they go against your human instinct of what should happen in, in real life. Tables really can't be in two places at once, but quantum theory says they can. So the main challenge is to kind of keep your eye on the fact that you're studying a fundamental behavior and things might not work. You know, tables will, may never ever be able to be in two places at once. Um, but it's a challenge, but it's also a driving force as well for me. So I love what I do because quantum physics is bizarre, it's strange, but it's fundamental to everything around us. It underpins biology, astrophysics, particle physics, but we never see any quantum physics in the real world. And for me, it's a deep kind of wanting to understand this. I'm super curious about why this is. That's why I want to see it, but I want to make it with my own hands as well. That's why I love the subject. And we want to encourage the younger generation to also step forward and be involved in this really nice community, this network of women who will support new scientists, new physicists in quite a challenging kind of research field.